Crazy Chef Productions. Today we're going to do an unboxing video of a Panasonic bread baker. Now, I've used different bread bakers, but I trusted Steve has been a Breville up to now, but I thought New Kitchen, I thought we'd have a different one. The Panasonic was slightly a bit more advanced, and so I decided to use, try a Panasonic one. Now, this isn't a product placement. We haven't been paid to do this. We haven't been paid by Panasonic. Purely spent our own money doing it after reviewing what I think we ought to have. Now, prices are going up in the shops. Prices of bread are going up wherever you are, Europe or UK. Uh, basically because the raw materials are going up, their flour is going up. Now, and also people don't want, because of pandemic issues, people may not want to keep going out to bakeries. So this is an ideal device for automatically press one button and it does your bread. So without further ado, I will zoom in on the product and I'll unbox it. Other videos I will do actually making the bread, but this is purely an unboxing video of the Panasonic SD Sierra Delta dash ZB Zulu Bravo 2512, that's the ZB2512, and this one happens to be in black. Okie dokie. And also, before you do this, when you receive new items, do check them for damage, do check the packaging for damage, and if necessary, take photographs. Okay, we're going to go to the unboxing. Okay, now. I've released the, uh, the package very well, I've, I've released the staples but I've not opened it, I haven't got a clue what's inside and you're seeing the box and my hands, you're not seeing me because I thought to zoom in on the product that they wrote in the box. Some staples are off on the floor. Remove cover on the bread pan before using the unit. It's got advisories, okay so. Okay. It, this has also got a European bow on it. I've been doing this in Poland, so we've got a European bow. That's all. You get UK bows, and then you can get US bows. I'm going to lift it, I'm going to put it on the floor because I'm going to lift it out of the box. Okay, so well packaged, massive, oh, massive handbook for. No, that's got recipes and multilingual. So, uh, save the packaging for the last. I, I, have a, I don't have a lot of room to keep all my old boxes, but I certainly save them for a while to ensure that the machine's okay. Okay, very well packaged. Move the box. Oh, excellent! This is excellent. The manual. The manual. Ah, it's got it in Polsky. Oh, oh we, you've got instructions on the top. And then, oh, okay, let's just get the menu. So we've got instruction sheets in different languages. So you can, this is good. It means. The instructions, I'll show you where the instructions are, but also you can change the instructions for your own language. So it's got Italian, German, Spanish, French, Czechoslovakian, Polsky, or Poland, Polish, Slovakian, Netherlands, Dutch. Ah, oh, yeah, so that's interesting. Well, I won't try to pronounce it Polish words, but anyway. So that, so that is good off. That's the first thing I've ever seen on the product. We've got some more here. Oh, Danish. Oh, anyway. But uh, that's excellent. That's a guarantee. I don't know what the... It's probably... Um, you probably have to register it where you are. Okay, no, that's scary. Okay, so look at this massive... Of course, it's in multiple languages, that's probably why it's thick, but you've got a massive instruction. I look at the English bits. Mate, it, okay, it tells you, it tells you how to use the machine, how to set it up, and it's got, it's got menus, colourful menus with ingredients. It looks really well done. Cool. It's 
So we might as well get the chest as well. Okay, so here we are, we've got the power plug. Turn it around. We've got on the front, start, stop, size of the loaf, whether you want the cross, start, medium or light, and also the instructions about adding things in, like if you want when you put the yeast in separately or whether you put the um, raisins and things like that. So I can open the top now. Okay, I need to um, take the packaging out somehow, and bits and pieces in there. Now this is similar to my forever one. In fact, it might even be the same, maybe the same insert. This is the insert where you put the bread. Now this is, and it's got a, it's got a, a, a spinner inside which actually wrote, which actually Rope, uh, massages the dough, if you like, uh, that kind of thing like that. You've got, there we are, you've got, oh, look, oh, this is excellent, the bits and pieces, you've got a, a measure device, or whatever you want to measure, I guess, measure, for your raisins, or your own. Now, unlike my brother one, this has got two separate spinning wheels, which rotate the dial. Usually, that's the usual one. Now, normally, you put that in like that. Put that in like that on the stand. You put it in. It slots it down. You rotate it to lock it in. And that's that. There's something else here. Oh, look at this. All these bits and pieces you get with it. And clearly, so I picked the Panasonic. Goes with my Panasonic microwave. But other stuff, I use uh, Ninja, I use Panasonic, I use Sharp. Oh, this is another, look at that, lovely, another measure device. Look at all that. A measure, another spoon measure, so we've got a, a measure for, I don't know, teaspoon, teaspoons. And a smaller spoon and another measure. So we've got two measures to put your materials in. And we've got more we've got here. Another little spot, I suppose that's to put little bits of salt in, that's a well, I don't know. A micro <laughs> spoon or whatever you want to do. Okay, now we so now we've got two containers. A measure, which looks like a teaspoon, oh, a tablespoon, well that don't look like, that looks too small like a tablespoon, a teaspoon, tablespoon, but probably looks too small, and a micro spoon, and here we are, take it down, be careful when you do this, it snaps tight, and if you get, get your, as I have this, you get your hand under it, it might pinch you a bit, so be careful. Right, on the top, you open the top up, it's got, various bits and pieces that you put in uh, and you've got an extra extra hole here for added ingredients so it's very very automated and I'll go through how you do it in a different video this is purely unboxing but this it's got your menu on the top now as I said this is this is in English but if you wanted it in if you wanted it in Polish for example there you are look you've got these Instruction in Polski, you just take that off, stick it over the top. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I'm just going to try to zoom in on this so you can see it. So there we are, we're zooming in with the instructions. And as I said, if you want to change the language, you just tear off one of these plastic things and replace it with the English with whatever you want to replace it with. Now, I haven't got, oh, I haven't got a clue how this opens, how that comes off. That's obviously to put something in. You put your bread in there. This is to put your yeast or your raisins or your other things. And it actually will, it's got a magnetic top look. It'll actually put it in at the right time. On my other older Breville one, 
I had to time it, it beep, 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 and then I had to put the, put the uh, raisins or whatever I want extra, the fruit, in separately. So this one is pretty good. And the top gets hot. So there we are, just open the, this is the, if I could just get the camera here, zoom out a, a tad. This is the basket inside, open up. It's, it's non-stick, I presume you use it as a dishwasher as well. Uh, that, that is a rotator inside, we've got two types of rotator, you just put it in. I'm only doing this, but I'm really instructed to do this because this is what I'm doing the other one. So there we are. Goes in like that, locks in place. There we are. So, red, it's got the various functions, rest, knead, rise, bake and end. It's very simple, you just control the size of the loaf you want, you can control the crust, and it's got a timer on it, so I'm assuming you could, could you, I'm assuming that you can prepare this overnight, and it bakes overnight, and when you come up for breakfast you've got a lovely, lovely hot warm loaf. <laughs> anyway, very sturdy, uh, it's got a magnetic light, that snaps down, so be careful not to trap your fingers on it. And this one on the top, again, it's, it's okay, it's magnetic. So, there we are, Panasonic. And I'll photograph the serial number. So it's a ZD, ZB2512. There's the machine, it comes with spoons, measures, comes with two containers, because you want your, your razors, you want to prepare all your stuff first before you start. Um, language stickers, if you want to change the instructions on the site, and I like call a massive book with recipes, recipes, it shows you how to clean it, troubleshoot, compot, Re jam recipes, good, here. gluten free recipes, dough recipes, sourdough, cake recipes bread recipes making and it tells you how to make all the bits and pieces how to set it up so as a index of what happened the function so it tells you what flour various flowers anyway that's it that's the unboxing video and I will come back and do the uh, making the bread so I haven't even tried it yet so there we are so over and out see you on the next video